In today's video, I'm going to talk about how to clean up your blotted Linux desktop with OpenBox Windows Manager. Myself, Mohammed Zubair, and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro really fast. So without any further ado, let's get started. Well, for today's video, I'm using the Ubuntu. OpenBox is a window manager and it is a type of graphical user interface for X Windows system. This stacking window manager is free under the GNU general public license, so you can use it anytime. If you are ready to move from those heavy and blotted desktop environments and you want to use the Windows Manager only, OpenBox is one of the best Windows Manager you can consider for that purpose. So let's say you are not happy with the system you are using and its performance and you want to use something a little light, fast, customizable and minimal. Let's see how we can set up OpenBox on Ubuntu and I'll show you how you can customize it and obviously your system will perform much faster after that. Now I will use some of the command to install OpenBox into my Ubuntu. So first of all, I will write here sudo apt install openbox space obconf. Well, obconf is the configuration manager for openbox. After that, just write here dash y hit enter. So now the process has just begun. It will download and install the open box into my Ubuntu. And after that, we just need to reboot our system. And then we'll move ahead and I'll show you that how you can switch to your open box from your login window. Now we are done installing our open box. Now it's time to reboot our system. I will just write here reboot, hit enter. It will reboot my Ubuntu. And from my login screen, I'll show you that how you can switch to your open box. So it has loaded up. Now I'll click on my username and from here, click on this gear icon. Here we have the option of open box. Just click on it. And now you just need to enter your password. Hit enter and you are good to go. Now it will open open box in my system. At the moment, you are not seeing anything onto my desktop because by default we get this screen here if i right click on my screen here i have some of the menus it means open box is up and running and it is working everything in the background but we do not have anything to be shown on the screen now it's time to install some of the things that we want first of all i will install a file manager or any utility to open our files and explore them so for that purpose, I'm going to install the PC man FM, but obviously we need to open terminal for that. So right click on your screen, go to your application. Then from here, go to your system. And here we have our terminal. So just click on it. Now I will install PC man FM. So I will just write here sudo apt install PC man FM, hit enter, give it your password will download and install a file manager for us. So it has started the process and it's a very little file. So it should be done by now. So we are done installing it. Now let's launch it. The command for that is PC man FM. It means you just need to write the name of that utility that you have just downloaded. After that, hit enter. Here you can see we have our utility of file explorer and here we have everything that we need. We have all the directories here, icons that we get in most of the Linux distribution and everything else. Other than that, let's install some other things. I will just close this one. Now let's install some menus for our open box. The command for that is sudo apt install menu, hit enter. It will download and install a utility known as menu. If I right click on my desktop, here we have some of the menus. But if I click on reconfigure, now if I right click on my desktop, here we have some more options. Here you can see we have now Debian and some other things. As you can see, I do not have any panel or dock onto my desktop in my open box. So we should install one. The command for that is sudo apt install tin2 space dash y and hit enter. It will download and install a panel for my open box and I'll show you 
that how it looks like and how it works. So after you are done installing the Tint 2 into your open box, there is a way to launch it. To launch it, just right here, Tint 2 and hit enter and it will launch Tint 2 onto your system. As you can see, I have already launched it. That is why it is giving me an error because it says it cannot load it again. So that is how you can have your panel in here. Well, there are a lot of options in terms of the panel that you can go and you have some docs available as well. So you can download those docs and you can enjoy them. But I'm okay with my panel. As you can see, I have the information about open app. Then I have my desktop one, which is my working window. Then I have my web browser and here I have my time and some other information. So as we are done with installing our panel, now it's time to install some more thing. This time we should have some wallpaper. So first of all, we need to have some wallpaper manager. So for that purpose, I will install nitrogen into my open box. The command for that is let me get out of this process. I will just write here sudo apt install nitrogen space dash y hit enter it will download and install a nitrogen which is a desktop wallpaper manager after that i'll show you that how you can download different wallpapers for your open box now as we are done with this one there are a lot of wallpapers that you can consider to download but i will download the genome and mate backgrounds the command for that is sudo apt install space genome dash backgrounds space mate dash backgrounds after that just hit enter it will download some wallpapers from genome and some from mate and after that i'll show you that how you can include those wallpapers onto your desktop and how you can have any one of them. So we are done downloading the wallpapers from the Mate and Genome. Now let's launch our wallpaper manager and now let's have a background for our desktop. So I will just write here Nitrogen, hit enter. This is the wallpaper manager. At the moment, we do not have anyone here. Just click on preference from here, click on add and go to your file system. From here, scroll down and look for user. This is here i will just open it from here go to your share and look for backgrounds folder this is it here you see we have two folders with the name of genome and mate open the genome one after that just click on select now again i'll click on add again i'll go to my file system i'll go to my user folder share folder backgrounds and this time i will open my mate these are some of the folders for wallpapers. So I will just click on select. Now just click on OK. Now all these wallpapers will get imported into my Nitrogen Wallpaper Manager. From here, select anyone as per your liking. I'll go with this one. After that, click on apply. This wallpaper has been applied to my desktop. So how cool is that and how powerful it is that with the help of open box you are only installing those things that you like and that you require primarily now there is one problem and that is if i reboot my open box or if i shut down my system these changes will not take place permanently let me show you what i'm talking about i will right click on my desktop i will just click on exit click on exit again and my system will reboot Again, I will go to my username, click on gear icon, click on open box, give it your password, hit enter. All those changes are gone. It means they were not permanent. To make those changes permanent, we have to do some settings. So first of all, let me open my terminal. So from here, I will launch my nitrogen. Here it is. I will set my background. Now I do not have my panel here. To have my panel, I have two ways. First of all, right click on your desktop, go to your application. This time go to your system. And in system, here we have TIN2. Just click on it and here we have our panel. Other than that, you can also write the name of TIN2 here and just hit enter. 
if i hit enter it will give me an error because it is already open in my desktop now i want to make these changes permanent into my system so i will just get out of this process and now i need to launch my file manager which if you remember is pc man fm for that we also have two ways right click on your screen go to your application and go to your utilities and here we have file manager pc man fm just click on it or you can also write the name of the tool in your terminal as i have just shown you earlier in this video so now as we have done here let me increase the size of this window now from here go to your view section and from here go to show hidden just click on it and here we have all those hidden folder now go to your configuration folder here you should have a folder with the name of open box but we do not have it at this time right click on your screen click on create new click on folder now i will name it as open box hit enter so we have successfully created a folder open this folder right click on it go to create new and click on empty file i will name this file as auto start click on ok and now i will open this file in this file we need to write some commands so first of all i will write here nitrogen space dash restore space and then just add the and sign hit enter on the second line i will write here tint to space and sign well these are the command to make these changes permanent and as it is in the auto start file it will keep these changes permanent into my desktop after that we need to save this file with an extension and the extension for that will be .sh so i will just click on save as and here i will name it as auto start .sh click on save and i will just close this file i will delete this file click on yes and now we are good to go and we have successfully made these changes permanent so even if i restart my system or if i reboot my system these changes will remain permanent into my system now let's install some themes for our open box and i will install alex appearance the command for that is sudo apt install alex appearance make sure you write the spellings right after that hit enter press y hit enter it will download some themes that you can consider for your desktop it's only about 2 megabytes of file so it will take a very short time so as we are done with this one now let's launch it so i will just write here alex appearance hit enter here it is so from here we can do a lot of things for example here we have some of the themes that we can apply you can go through all of them and you can decide which one you want to go with i'll go with at weta dark after that we have some colors then we have icon themes that you want to keep for your files and their icons then you can change your mouse cursor as here we have a lot of options then you also have the options to go and change your fonts and at the end we have some additional settings i'm okay with everything else but i'll go with elevator dark in terms of the widget i'll just click on apply and other than that we also have a way that we can go with and that is if you right click on your screen and from here if you go to your obicon here we have some of the themes that we can go with well if you scroll down you will see a lot of options you can go with any one as per your liking i'll stick with the default one which has been selected by default then we have an appearance section you can change some things in here like we have fonts here windows title then you have your windows you can do a lot of things like prefer to place new windows on the primary monitor you can change it as per your liking then you have your move and resize option you have your mouse settings desktop settings margin then you have your dock well we do not have our dock at the moment we have our panel but you can change it as per your liking i will just close this one and that brings us to the end of today's video so please leave a like subscribe and press the bell icon we'll see you in the next video till then take care